it's almost impossible to imagine a civilization as we know it without metals. The UK has a major opportunity to be the first country in the world to exploit the circularity of metals, particularly its major metals like steel and aluminium. So what we're looking at here is scrap that's come from an end-of-life car that's been shredded and then sorted to provide just the raw fraction. The collaboration between Constellium and Bcars pioneered the use of recycled aluminium in automotive structures. It was then to demonstrate that we could actually take the scrap from end-of-life vehicles and put it back into the alloys with precisely the same properties. This process has a major effect on the environment. The best example we have was when Jaguar Land Rover introduced the Range Rover Sport model, which had a full aluminium structure. This enabled, over the life of a vehicle, the saving was around 10 tonnes of carbon dioxide. Uh, I'm Zhong Yu Fan, I'm, I'm director of Big Hust and I'm leading the Sacramento Research Program. This is the very beginning of BCAST. And uh, this is the young professor fan, and uh, this is David, uh, my first PhD student. In the future, if we utilize all the metals available through different combinations, we can deliver all the engineering functions required. We need to do a lot of scientific technological development, and also economic analysis, and more importantly, we need to work with business and industry to deliver for metal circulation. So actually one of the biggest challenges when we want to actually get companies to make a difference is to actually get the companies to understand what the circular economy is. A lot of organisations think that circular economy equals recycling and actually recycling is the last thing we want to do. What we really want to do is keep things in their highest possible value state for as long as possible. And so as we start to think about how we design for the circular economy, we've got to start thinking not only about how we design the product for assembly, but also how we design it for disassembly, to be repaired, to be remanufactured and to be reused. There's a huge opportunity to move away from the old ways of making steel and aluminium, to generate a whole new steel and aluminium industry in the UK, which is environmentally sustainable and incredibly valuable for the future of the country. This is a programme and it will have a long lasting impact and which will affect not only our own life is long-term effect life of our future generations. Circular economy is not only becoming an approach to science technology, and it's becoming an approach to a way of life to every citizen. It's about living in harmony with nature, and we are sure the future is green and the future is circular.